hello, 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 hello. It's me. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm COVID free. Ah, <sighs> anyway, I've got something a bit different for you today. I have, if I'm looking a bit worse for the old wear, I've got bags under my eyes. Uh, didn't sleep very well last night. I keep getting this sicky feeling like I'm going to be sick, but I'm not. But anyway, that's another story. Um, so it's kept me up a little bit. Anyhow, any you, um, I am doing a collaboration today uh, with a company uh, that reached out to me and I couldn't believe it. They're a hair extension company called Irresistible Me, but I'll get uh, onto them in a minute. Um, and I was actually going to order myself some, I couldn't believe it, some like um, hair extensions, like ponytail ones. And that's what they offered me to choose from. So I asked them, I was kind of chuffed. Um, anyway, but before I get on with that and tell you a bit more about Irresistible Me, you know that time of the day. Oh, yes, you do. So get those poopy whoopers going. Yeah, it's time for my laugh on the loo with your girl, Lucy Lou. Oh, yeah. Now, where are we? Hmm? Where are we is what I want to know. Looking right. Right, what's this? This is either a really long arse joke. Well, I don't know. I don't actually know what it is. But anyway, let's read it to you. A man is in bed with his wife when there is a bang on the door. I'm not getting out of bed at this time, he says, and rolls over. Then a louder knock follows. Aren't you going to answer that? asks his wife. So he goes downstairs, opens the front door and sees a drunk man standing there. Hello, slurs the stranger. Can you give me a push? No, it's our past three. I was in bed, the man replies and slams the door. He goes back up to bed and tells his wife what happened and she says, that wasn't very nice of you. Remember that night we broke down in the pouring rain on the way back to pick the children up from the babysitter and you had to knock on that man's door to get us started again. What would have happened if he'd have told us to get lost? But this man was drunk, the husband answers. It doesn't matter, says the wife. He needs our help. Go and help him. Oh, so the husband gets out of bed again and goes downstairs. He opens the door and not being able to see the stranger anywhere, shouts, Hey, do you still want a push? Where are you? The trunk man replies, I'm over here on your swing. <laughs> you better be laughing. You lot, I tell you. All right, I've got one more for you. Dog walks into the bar and says to the barman, Do you have any jobs? The barman replies, No. Why don't you try the circus? The dog looks confused and responds, Why would the circus need pasta? <laughs> that was a good one. I liked that, all right? I don't want to hear any of it from you lot. Tell me that for nothing. Anyway, you also know that time of day. It's time for my 1,227 facts. That have yet to blow all of your socks off. Oh, yes, it is. But anyway... I say that, I mean, I'm sure a few of your socks have been blown off at some points. Do you know what I mean? Oh, sweating me ever so small frippers off, as usual. Okay, this one is a single sperm, brilliant, contains 3.5 MB of DNA information. Itch your back, excuse me. Oh, God, one ejaculation. Oh, dear, I'm sorry it's irresistible me, but this is me 1,227 facts, I've got to tell them. One ejaculation represents a data transfer of 15,875 GB, whatever that may mean, equivalent to the combined capacity of a 62 MacBook Pro laptop. I ain't got a clue what that means. Do you? I don't really care, to be quite honest with you. 70% of all animals in the jungle rely on figs for their survival. Oh, yeah, now so I rely on syrup for figs for mine. Helps and nevers, you know. In Antigua, fig means banana. What's all this about figs? All right. I do like banana, though. I had banana and porridge yesterday morning. It was delicious. Because I've got this new diabetic jam. Oh, my God. It's making me feel ill. It's called Stute. S-T-U-T-E. Stute diabetic jam. And it is rank. All right. It is rank. It tastes like I'm just eating aspartame on toast. I look so much better with my glasses on. Don't I? I look a bit ugly. Look. But anyway... Um, Linnaeus named the banana Musa Paradisica because he thought it might have been the forbidden fruit of the Garden of Eden. Well, I mean, 
I don't know what side. I just don't know what side. I do know one thing though. I'm sweating my footness off. So one goes, one's fine. Just thought I can, you know, cool down. Anyhow, any hue. Uh, let me get on to this. Uh, so, like I say, uh, this uh, company, Irresistible Me, uh, reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to try um, a couple of their pony towels. Uh, let's have a look at what's in the package. Some notes there. They did also send me a couple of little freebies. Well, the pony towels are freebies and all, but anyway, I'll show you them in a minute. Anyway, so. I've got two pony towels, which I'm going to show you right now. At the end of this video, I, if you know, keep watching because I will show an instalment of how I've put them in my hair um, and what they look like in my hair, just so you lot can have a look. Uh, anyway, so I've had to write a couple of bits down because obviously there's a lot I want to tell you about I and mean, I probably will forget. So uh, first of all, let's have a look at this one. Um... So these are vegan, vegan, which I think is fantastic. They are vegan fibre ponytails. I got a wavy one and a straight one. They are both 26 inches and I got them in honey blonde because I believe, if you can see, oh, look at that. You'll see at the end anyway, but uh, I believe that they will look the best colour in my hair. So this is the first one. And as I said, it is vegan and it's 26 inches, so it's lovely and long. Comes with these two uh, bobby pins here. So what you're going to do, you're going to put your ponytail up like this. You're going to wrap it around your own ponytail. Uh, this bit then goes round like that. So I mean, I'm trying to show you like this. And then I suppose your bobby pins go in. But obviously, when I do it at the end, you'll be able to see at the moment I'm just making a bit of a mess with it um I'll tell you a little bit more about oh, actually let me show you both the ponytails first so this is the as I say this is the long wavy ponytail in the honey blonde and it is 26 inches it retails at 99 but the sale price at the moment I believe because if you look on the website it kind of changes every day so I think it's 50 pounds now but also, when I just checked their website, they have got a Black Friday discount of 60% off. So if you go on the Irresistible Me website, at the moment, there is 60% off. That's a hell of a lot of money. So it, this wouldn't even then be 50, I don't think, would it? I mean, I'm not very good with percentages, but I'm gathering that it wouldn't. So that's the first one. And they come in these beautiful packages um, that say irresistible me on the front like so and they come in a hairnet so you can always keep them you know put them back in the hairnet put them back in the little shiny silky pouch and that will keep them in good condition you know what i mean but i think anything if you look after stuff it shouldn't get in bad condition do you know what i mean so that's the first one uh, i'll show you the second one and then i'll i'll tell you a bit about the company itself so again in the nice little package this is also the 26 inch honey blonde and this one is the long straight ponytail and both of these are the vegan fiber so obviously they're not human hair that the the company does do human hair though if you're interested in the human hair but these ones are the vegan fiber so um but i've got to be honest with you they feel very nice they feel very very soft and there's a lot of hair there so this is the straight one uh, in the honey blonde and that is also 26 inches look at me trying to look gorgeous um, and like I say so it works same way it's going to go around your ponytail you've got your bobby pins there the bits to wrap around your hair uh, around the ponytail rather oh i think it looks beautiful like that don't you with this curly bit and the straight bit so yeah so that's both the ponytails uh but as i say if you go on um their website now which is obviously irresistible me which is spare well I'll, i will link everything in the description box below i know I know you're going to say, you're going to do a link, please. Well, I have to, don't I? That's what I've asked for. And it's the least I can do is they've sent me out two of their lovely ponytails. So, 
Oh, I'm going to ball me. I'll tell you. So I have to. <laughs> so, um, like I say, uh, but when I just checked the website now, everything has 60% off for their Black Friday uh, special, Black Friday deals. Um, anyway, they specialise in clippings, invisible clippings. Um, invisible tapings and that might be my next thing because because I've done my hair like blonde now blondy colour I've had to cut it to about here and I'm used to having hair that was down there so I'd like to try some uh, tapes I don't know I don't know if they give me a date and I'd have to take them out you know what I'm like um, anyway so invisible tapings uh, ponytails what you've just seen human hair wigs so they do the full range of human hair wigs, vegan fibre wigs, if you obviously don't want to use the human hair, long growth gummies, so they um, have got these gummies, that they're kind of essentially like vitamins, which are to strengthen your hair and grow your hair, uh, volumizers. so if you've got very flat hair and you want a bit of volume, irresistible me, is who you go to, they also have a colour match guarantee, um, they do 100% human hair options and 100% free returns. Um, there was something else I'm sure I needed to tell you is about them. That's why I have to write a few bits down because, you know, with the brain fog, I do forget. Yeah, no, 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 that, that was it. So, like I say, um, this is the... 26 inch honey blonde vegan fiber straight and then exactly the same but in the wavy so there they both are they are beautiful um and i am gonna try them on at the end of the video at the end of the video i will put a video on of me putting installing them and showing you what they look like on oh, little old me so yes i will link everything you need to know in the description box below um, so please go check them out, um, especially if you've got any problems involving your hair, you know, thinning and uh, obviously, or you just want a bit of volume or you just want a bit of length or you just want to, you know, have some gummies to, you know, give it a bit of growth. Just, you know, just go and check them out. It doesn't cost anything to check out a website and you might be surprised at what you can get and what you actually think. Do you know what? That'll, that'll be good for me. And I will... What I'll do, I'll do probably another little video in a couple of weeks' time after I've worn them to tell you about the comfort, how they feel, how they brush, and all that other stuff. All that jibber jibber, you know. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, and then I just wanted to show you, I went on to eBay and there was a man sitting out. I haven't checked out this lady. Her name is Liz Claiborne, but I'm gonna. I believe, I'm not sure if it, I think they are quite expensive to be honest but anyway i put a bid on these three perfumes these three liz claiborne perfumes so this is the first one and um, to be honest i can't see how many meals it is i've got to reckon it's about a 30 meal and this one is called sweet designer no it ain't at all it's called sweet desire so this is the first perfume that i got a bit on, a bit of whiffy woo, there we go. So I got that one. And can I just tell you, I won this all for 99p on eBay. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Then this one is called Spark by Liz Claiborne. And there is 5.3 mil in there. Not bad, I tell you, not bad. It's very dark, a bit urine -y, but <laughs> like the urinal sort of colour. But you know, it ain't not about what it looks like, it's what it smells like, all right? That would smell great on someone who's about 167,000 years old. <laughs> oh, that, wasn't, that one isn't for me, all right? That one isn't for me. That <sighs> going to give away one, you can have it. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I've got some big giveaways coming up, all right? Um, and then the last one is also, this is called Lucky Number no. 6 by Liz Claiborne. And, oh, hang on just got a little note on the back uh one point no 17 ounces so oh, i don't know what that is it looks like this let's have a little smelly welly oh that is beautiful oh my god that 
Oh, that's beautiful. I love that one. That's the favourite one. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That is absolutely beautiful, that one. Was that one that I said smelt a bit like... More for older people. Like I'm talking like I'm young, do you know what I mean? Sitting here like, oh, I'm only young. <laughs> but I'm not. Um... Hang on, was that a Liz Clay bomb? I don't, it is. How can you make one that nice and one that... Well, I just thought... Well, it's not that it ain't nice. Someone might think it's gorgeous. I don't right? know. It's going in a giveaway. Uh, anyway, so that I got from eBay. I thought 99p I had to show you. Um, I thought it was amazing. Plus, while I'm on the sub... No, not on the subject of perfume, to be quite honest with you. I wanted to tell you about a couple of films I'd watched. So I watched The Exorcist when I was on holiday. They should have left it in 1973, all right? Um, the only good part about it, I thought, was the fact they bought Reagan. Oh, if you haven't watched it, I'm so sorry. Sorry, not sorry, but I've now just said it. I've just spoiled it for you. Reagan does have a little bit of a part in it, and so does her mother. And her mum is now 90 years old in real life. I kid you not. 90 years old. And my girl's still doing acting, all right? But no, um, to me, nothing beats the older 70s and 80s films. Literally nothing, nothing beats, beats them films. Um, they try and make all these up-to-date ones now, and they try... They're not scary. They don't scare me. Don't do nothing. I'm just like... And sometimes the endings I don't even get. I see Saw. That was good. Uh, I see one the other night called It Lives Inside. And that actually wasn't too bad. However... A lot of the speaking was in, I think it was in Hindi, H-I-N-D-I, -I. that's Hindi, right? Not Hindu, I'm sure they said Hindi. Correct me if I'm wrong, if there's anybody who's if, if a Hindi or a Hindu, I might be getting wrong. But anyway, they were speaking in Hindi, is what I think they said. And I'm looking for the subtitles of what so, you know, they're talking about. I couldn't find any subs anywhere, so unless you speak Hindi, I could get the subtitles. Uh, you will still get the gist of the film because there is English being spoken in it, but there is also Hindi, and I obviously couldn't understand that. But it was a good film. And talk to me, uh, a bit meh, that was a bit meh. But any other films I come across uh, that I do, I shall let you know. Um, anyway, I've got a load of stuff coming up because I've got a couple of other companies that have sent me a couple of bits. Well, I say I cut it two, it's another two companies. So, uh, I shall be doing them. I've also got some giveaways to do. I've got some uh, Team U. I've got some Sheen. And at some point when I can be bothered, because I've literally not been out of the house now for, I don't know, over a week, something like that. I don't know. But uh, when I can get to the charity shops, uh, I will do a little charity shop haul. But anyway, as I will say, thank you very much uh, to all my new subscribers and to my existing subscribers. Thank you to everyone who was texting me. You know, I hope i'll get rid of the covid quick and all that stuff um you know i appreciate you all and i love you all very much and as i've said before if there's ever a, a message you've sent me and i don't get back to you pull me on it all right because it's not me it's because i've it's it's been overlooked um sometimes i can look like i, I, I don't know if i told you before i looked a few months back and there was a, quite a few messages i was like oh, i never see them so i've got straight back as i will get back to each and every one of you and if i don't it, don't think oh she's being rude no i'm not i haven't seen it sometimes it was i've got free notifications when i look it was just showing me other subscribers that i'm sub i'm subscribed to so it's not showing that there's any messages from you guys so if there is i'm really sorry just please do let me know anyway keep watching because i am going to link a, a video at the end of this to show you how i put these on so and what they look like so listen i love you all very much take care and i'll see you in my next video bye so i've got it in guys and it is gorgeous it looks amazing however i must admit um I found it a little bit myself hard to put in, not because it's hard to put in, but because the hair kept getting caught around these stupid carbicons I've got on my nails and it started to really hack me off. Every time I'm trying to put the bit around it, all the hair's getting pulled, my own hair is getting pulled because of these stupid things on my nails. So I did have a bit of help putting it in in the end. Um, but yeah, here we are. And it is gorgeous. Look, look at that beautiful 26 inches and how it was put in i'll try and show you with this one so what you do uh because obviously i can't show you again because someone helped me put it in uh it has uh, a piece of net inside with a clip attached to it 
So you're going to put this clip right into where the ponytail is under there, which secures it. You're then going to flip it back and you're going to make sure you wrap the Velcro bit around your ponytail. Then you're going to take this, go around a couple of times, use the bobby pin to secure it, then around a couple more times until you can secure it again, uh, the last bit again with your bobby pin. As you can see, look, it's getting caught. Look, my nail just did that. Look horrendous was me trying to put it in so if you're going to buy one of these don't put garbagons on your nails um but they are beautiful they are beautiful quality they look gorgeous in i love it absolutely love it um i'm gonna wear it to go out oh yeah the next time i go out i'm keeping it on and i'm gonna go out but anyway so uh as i say i'll really everything to do with irresistible me uh, at the bottom and they did send me uh, oh they they definitely knew who to send it to right queen queen <laughs> they sent me a little clip for free and they did send me a little bow so that was nice of them as well so as i say i do think it looks very nice in i absolutely love it um it's comfortable enough it doesn't feel i mean i don't usually like having things like this in my hair but it doesn't feel uncomfortable, so yeah, I would definitely be able to wear it and look fabulous. Anyway, bye!